Hi everybody, welcome to YSCON Driving and yes, this is the moment. This is the one we've been waiting for so long and this is none other than the GR Yaris. We are very fortunate because uh, due to the WRC, Toyota has to make 25,000 units of this car available to the general public. And so we're going to get a couple of hundred of them here, I think. Not very sure, maybe a hundred plus units. And so for the next few months, everybody will be talking about this car. And why? Because this car is basically designed for the WRC, which is the World Rally Championship. So it's made as the base car. Of course, the actual rally car will have a few other things that are different, but this is the road-going version. But even then, the base model is quite potent. Imagine this. Well, there are some regulations they have to stick to, and that is why they have this car as a three-cylinder engine. Can you imagine a three-cylinder engine to go racing? Difficult, right? Yes, but... Uh, Toyota chose to have a 1.6-litre double overhead cam engine and uh, is also direct injection with a turbo. And it will develop, or rather it develops 261 PS or maybe 258 horsepower and 360 newton meters of torque. And this is the stuff that the WRC rally car is made of. So let's look at the other stuff that come with it. All right, so looking at the front, this car is uh, built based on the Yaris and it's a Yaris two-door. So you can see the front here is actually designed for rally use. They have a very square front and this is to cater for the wider fenders they will have on the rally car, I think. And so this is what it looks like and from the side, I want to show you something else. As a rally car, it needs to have a very low um, overhang at the front and also low overhang at the back. So the total car is very, very short. Yeah, The wheelbase is only 2560mm, which is 10mm longer than the Vios or the Yaris. So it is a very, very small car. And why do they run small cars in rallies nowadays? It's because of the regulations. They restrict the power that the car can develop, the maximum power that the car can develop is, is restricted. So therefore, they need to make the cars lighter and lighter. And the Yaris, this is the one that they have chosen to go for the World Rally Championship. Now, the, this car will do 0 to 100 in 5.5 seconds. This is the road-going version. And top speed of 230 kilometers per hour. And this is actually electronically limited. So let's have a look at the outside. Uh, these are 356 mm brakes and they run four port calipers on the front. And actually, by a strange coincidence, these are exactly the same calipers that were running on my Celica GT4. And that was in 1992. So that is like 28 years ago, the cars were running the same brakes. Of course, this car is no, it's not lighter. It is 1280 kilograms and that is just 10 kilograms heavier than my Celica GT4, which was a much bigger car. Okay, so this one has got all-wheel drive and uh, the front suspension is McPherson struts. So, and here is the interesting thing about the back. They actually have double wishbone. So, guys, do you remember? the TNGA platform. Well, this is the exact same platform they are running for this World Rally Championship car. So, you can see the back here, the suspension is... It will be very similar to the Corolla uh, because it has to be built stronger. So, even though this car is one, one segment below, I would suspect they will use the Corolla parts or even stronger. And uh, maybe for rally, they will use different material yeah, to reduce unsprung weight. So you can see at the back, the overhang is very low and this is what the rally car will be made of and you can expect that they will have uh, widened fenders here and uh, to give it a wider stance. So uh, the height of the car is 1455mm 
and the whole length is less than 4 meters, 3995. Okay, 10% of the body is made of aluminum and the interesting thing here is the roof. Yeah, this roof is carbon fiber. So it's not a carbon fiber wrap, yeah, it's actually real carbon fiber and it's made to keep the weight lower down. Okay, drilling to the inside. We will not drill to the inside. First, we will go and look at the engine compartment. You must look at the engine. Yeah, what does a three-cylinder turbo engine look like? And this is what we need to know. Okay, this is a rally car, so we don't need a lot of fancy stuff. Just one simple lightweight bar to hold the bonnet up and yes, it's aluminium. Fantastic. Okay, so here's the little engine. Three cylinders and uh, it has 100cc more than the Yaris and the Vios that is in production here. But of course, the power is a lot more. So it is a very, very small 1.6 litre double overhead cam. And this is the intake side. And you can see down there, this is the drive-by-wire throttle. And that's the manual gearbox, six speed. And uh, the turbo is at the back end, somewhere inside here. Very hard to see where it is, but it is there, I assure you. It's underneath this cover. And uh, so the ECU is at the back here, just to protect it from splashes, I think. And uh, the front is very, very nice and simple. And uh, here is the main strut housing and again it is it is uh, tied to the A pillar so you can see reinforcements here this is for rally endurance yes so this car is very very nice and compact and built very well and the engine weight the engine is just slightly in front of the front wheels yeah interesting I, maybe they couldn't do much about it because the car is actually that small. So the main weight is just slightly in front of the front axle. So I suppose they want that kind of weight under braking to get more traction. Okay, let's close the bonnet. Okay, so yes, definitely the bonnet is aluminium. And uh, let's look inside. Okay, this is a two-door and wow, these seats look like from... The Vios or the Yaris. Yeah, these are very, very simple seats. I suppose for rallying, they would have uh, competition seats. These are pretty standard, but uh, it's a little bit different here. The headrest uh, design is different. Of course, you have the Gazoo Racing on the headrest. And here, look at it, guys. 299,000 ringgit for this car and no electric seats. That's the way cars should be built because this is guys a race car no matter how you look at it and no fancy fancy stuff but later you see there are actually quite some stuff that they actually didn't need and real men drive three pedals okay those are the three pedals and yes this car is small enough for me to drive and uh, let's have a look at the back okay the back seat is just there yeah it's quite nice just plain uh, black leather yeah so they have leather and because this is a, what you call a road version, so it's nice and it's there, but well, it's just a small little car. You don't buy this car for the rear leg room, okay? You buy this car for the front leg room. Okay, so drilling into the car, you have a, a very standard size steering wheel that look like it would have come off the Vios. And uh, down there you have, okay, they have traction control and Intelligent Manual Transmission, IMT. And of course, the A button is the uh, auto stop off, yeah? And of course, a mechanical handbrake. What else? It must be mechanical handbrake. And uh, so this is a, what you call a rough and tough car. It's all business, no frills. But actually, this car has got frills. It's got a blind spot monitor. It's got... Uh, lane departure warning and it's got uh, pre-collision system with braking yeah so 
it has all this stuff but actually it's not necessary even if they didn't have it it wouldn't stop me from buying the car of course here the steering uh, adjustment is available and this looks like it just came from a standard Yaris yeah and uh, so you have also uh, driving modes you have three driving modes I think according to this you push to get normal then you have sport and you have track okay so you see on the left here you pull to the left you get sport you pull to the right you get track that's it and the start stop button and the six speed manual gearbox most important here is you have the speedometer oh, it goes all the way to 280 but the top speed is limited to 230 and you have an engine rpm wow for a turbocharger Red line at 7,000 RPM, not bad. Okay, so that's the Yaris Gazoo Racing. And uh, if you really want to have a very, very nice car to have, well, this is one car you can consider, guys. So, there it is. You have, oh yeah, there's something else that I forgot to mention. It also has dynamic radar cruise control, uh, lane departure, alarm warning and also it has lane tracing oh okay this car will actually steer you back now that's not something i want in my car i don't need lane tracing i don't need lane tracing i don't need uh, lane departure warning i don't even need dynamic radar cruise control i just need the power maybe bigger brakes maybe bigger wheels okay man so this is the Toyota yaris gazoo racing Alright guys, thanks for watching and I hope if any one of you are lucky enough to be able to buy this car, you will ask me to come along and say, hey Wes, let's go up the mountain and drive this car. Alright guys, see you again. Bye-bye.